In Newfoundland and Labrador, electricity is generated at a hydroelectric plant, thermal plant, diesel plant, or a wind farm. This electricity must often travel long distances to get to your home. To do that, electricity makes a journey through a complex transmission system. After electricity is generated, it travels by wire from a power plant to a terminal station near the plant. Inside the terminal station, large power transformers increase the voltage so that it can travel a long distance over transmission lines. Voltage is the pressure of electricity in a circuit. Visualize the water pressure in a garden hose. The higher the pressure, the faster and further the water will travel. In the same way, at a high voltage, electricity can travel greater distances. Terminal stations are filled with high voltage equipment and it's extremely important to never enter one of these stations. Once voltage is increased in a terminal station, electricity travels over transmission lines. Transmission towers in Newfoundland and Labrador are made of wood, steel or aluminum. Some of the largest transmission towers are up to 90 feet tall. Stretching across rugged terrain, transmission lines on the island of Newfoundland carry up to 230,000 volts of electricity. In Labrador, the transmission lines from the Churchill Falls Generating Station carry 735,000 volts of electricity. Finally, electricity will make its way through transmission lines to another terminal station or substation where voltage will be decreased so it can be used in your home. <music>